great day for the Serbia team. Eh? I would hope so. Um, we'd have discussions in the afternoon, but I hope that we will finally get the discussion or the decision on starting the accession negotiations for Serbia. I think that's uh, high time. I think it will be important. And anyone from the Western Balkans is going forward? But on Albania, Bosnia. for example. Well, I, I hope that we can take a positive decision on Albanian candidate status as well. I'm not certain of that because I know there are reservations by, by some countries. Um, we had some issues also. I hope we can uh, not uh, hope to be constructive on Macedonia as well. And uh, then we have Bosnia as usual, but that's a separate issue. Have you had any talks with the Dutch foreign minister about uh, Albania? No. Because it's them who will be in their I, I haven't talked to him, uh, but I'll, Is I'll do. Is there any reason for, for stopping Albania? Well, ask him. Uh, I, candidate status is something that isn't really defined that clearly what it means. And, uh, and then it doesn't mean very much either, by the way. And you can always say that there are things that remain to be done in Albania, which is certainly true. So it is, uh, there are no sort of objective criteria. It's a judgment call. And from our point of view, the fact that they've done things better than expected in terms of elections and new government and starting to work, um, I think it's important to reward that. Uh, that being said, uh, Albania has a long way to go. You said that Bosnia is a separate issue. Could the European Union help more to, to, to solve that issue? Well, there's no other country that we've been investing so much in during the last, whatever, 15, 20 years by now in trying to help them. But at the end of the day, uh, the Bosnians need to help themselves. It's their country. And they have to take the decisions. Uh, they can't expect the outside world to sort out their problems all the time. They, they have to grow up. How should we react to the opening two new chapters on Turkey? Is the relations with Turkey getting better? Well, we, we see, hope we, we move in that direction. Yeah, I, we, we had the readmission agreement yesterday, signed in Ankara. We opened a chapter. Uh, we are intensifying the political dialogue. Uh, I saw that Prime Minister Erdogan turned up at the signing ceremony in Ankara yesterday and had a rather positive speech on relationship with the European Union. These are good signs. Um, and we want to develop that relationship further, as you know. How important is it to send positive signs to Belgrade and uh, Ankara today compared, in comparison with what's happening in, around Ukraine? Well, I mean, we, we must be able to do both things. I think it's important. I mean, the enlargement process is an important one. And I always stress the fact that we need to have a momentum in it. Steps need to be taken. Some of the steps might be small sometimes, sometimes big, because it is based on the conditions that are there. Uh, but very clearly to say it's a process, it goes on, if you change, we open. Uh, so that message is good for Belgrade, and I hope they listen in Bosnia, uh, and for the others as well, Ankara, needless to say. The Russian newspaper expected uh, claimed they had sources in the Russian military department yesterday about Iskander robots being placed in Kaliningrad. Do you have any new comments about that? No. No, I don't. The Luxembourg minister, he said that uh, they are going to find a solution in Albania, maybe on Serbia, just uh, before the end of the week. Do you believe in that? Before the end of the week? Yeah. They said well, I, I, I would hope that there would be a solution today um, and not take the issue to the European Council because the European Council will, as you know, be fairly occupied with other issues, I, I would assume. I, I think Ukraine will go, there will be Ukraine at the European Council, I would hope, because it's. Um, it's an issue of that uh, order of magnitude at the moment. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.